It's like a scene from a horror movie. The bees don't stop. As the man struggles to regain his footing, down he goes again. The bees are relentless, stinging the startled man over and over. The world of animal breeding has led to the creation of fascinating and sometimes terrifying creatures. African bees, more dangerous than honeybees, and gives them the reputation of killer bees. In our quest for innovation, humanity has pushed the boundaries of nature to produce new species. In this video, we will explore 15 horrifying animals that we have bred into existence. From genetic experiments to crossbreeding, showcasing the peculiar and unnerving outcomes of our curiosity. So tiny too, look, I will put my thumb right up next to the glass. That frog is no bigger than the tip of my thumb. Number one, the aurochs revival. The aurochs, a majestic ancestor of modern domestic cattle, once roamed the forests and grasslands of Europe, Asia, and North Africa. They were known for their imposing size and powerful horns, but the species went extinct in the 17th century due to hunting and habitat loss. Look at that! It's an aurochs. That's incredible! That's an aurochs horn! <laughs> The Aurochs Revival, also known as the Taurus Program, is an ongoing effort by scientists and breeders to resurrect this extinct species using selective breeding and genetic engineering. This ambitious project began in 2009 and aims to create a breed of cattle that resembles the ancient Aurochs as closely as possible. The project relies on backbreeding, which involves crossing the modern cattle breeds that carry the Aurochs DNA to retrieve their ancient characteristics. While the intent is to reintroduce these magnificent creatures into their former habitats, the process has raised ethical concerns. The aurochs revival is both fascinating and horrifying because it blurs the line between the natural world and human intervention. Critics argue that resurrecting extinct species is a slippery slope, potentially leading to unforeseen consequences for ecosystems and the overall balance of nature. The prospect of recreating an animal that has been extinct for centuries raises questions about our role in shaping the planet's biodiversity and the ethical boundaries of scientific experimentation. Despite these concerns, the Aurochs Revival Project has made significant progress in recent years, with some cattle breeds displaying strikingly similar characteristics to their extinct ancestors. Humans first domesticated aurochs in the Middle East 10 or 11,000 years ago, and the many breeds of domestic cattle we have today are the result of selective breeding. The selective breeding process has produced animals with larger size, dark coats and impressive horns, reminiscent of the ancient aurochs. As the project continues to advance, it serves as a stark reminder of the incredible power humans wield over the natural world and the potentially horrifying consequences of pushing the boundaries of life. Number 2. The Featherless Chicken The featherless chicken is a controversial and unnerving example of genetic engineering in the world of animal breeding. She's amazingly smooth. Yeah. It's quite extraordinary. <laughs> Developed by Israeli scientists in the early 2000s, this bizarre bird is the result of a genetic mutation that prevents the growth of feathers. The researchers' primary goal was to create a chicken that could withstand hot climates and reduce the need for expensive cooling systems in poultry farms, ultimately lowering production costs. While the featherless chicken may seem like an efficient solution to the challenges faced by the poultry industry, the bird's appearance is undeniably unsettling. Without feathers, the chicken displays a pink, wrinkled skin that is highly sensitive to sunlight and prone to injuries. <laughs> Additionally, the lack of feathers significantly reduces the bird's ability to regulate its body temperature, leaving it vulnerable to extreme weather conditions. Ethical concerns have been raised regarding the welfare of these featherless chickens. The absence of feathers impairs their natural behaviors, such as preening and dust bathing, which are crucial for their well-being. Moreover, the featherless chicken is more susceptible to parasites, infections, and injuries due to its exposed skin, raising questions about the morality of breeding an animal that may experience a reduced quality of life. The featherless chicken also highlights the potential dangers of prioritizing economic efficiency over the welfare of animals. 
The pursuit of lower production costs can lead to the creation of unnatural and disturbing creatures, which may suffer as a result of our desire for cheaper and more accessible food sources. So, so featherless chickens in the tropics, they grow faster yes, than right. a bird with feathers because they don't, they, they don't get held up by the fact they're getting too hot. The featherless chicken serves as a horrifying example of how far we can go in manipulating nature to suit our needs, challenging us to consider the ethical implications of our actions and the consequences for the animals we breed. Number three, the glowfish. The glowfish is a fascinating yet unnerving example of genetic engineering in the world of animal breeding. Originally developed by scientists in Singapore in the late 1990s, glowfish are zebrafish that have been genetically modified to carry a fluorescent protein gene, which makes them glow in the dark under ultraviolet light. The fluorescent proteins are derived from other organisms, such as jellyfish, coral, or sea anemone, and are integrated into the zebrafish's DNA to create a variety of vibrant colors. While the glowfish was initially engineered to help detect environmental pollutants in water, it quickly became a popular ornamental pet in the aquarium industry. The striking appearance of these glowing fish captivates many enthusiasts, but their creation raises ethical concerns about the manipulation of animal genetics for aesthetic purposes. Some critics argue that the glowfish is a frivolous and unnecessary application of genetic engineering, which may lead to unforeseen ecological consequences if these modified fish were to escape into the wild. The potential risks associated with glowfish include interbreeding with wild zebrafish populations, which could result in the spread of the fluorescent gene and disrupt the delicate balance of aquatic ecosystems. Additionally, the long-term effects of the genetic modifications on the health and well-being of the glowfish are not yet fully understood. These fish are gonna be so much more active, and they're already pretty active, but way more active in probably just about a day. The glowfish serves as a vivid example of humanity's capacity to manipulate and create living organisms for our entertainment. This colorful creature is both fascinating and horrifying, as it challenges us to confront the ethical boundaries of genetic engineering and the potential consequences of our pursuit of novelty and aesthetic pleasure. Number 4. The Spider Goat The Spider Goat is an astonishing and disconcerting example of genetic engineering in the field of animal breeding. So these right. kids have the genes for a spider in them. Yes. This is, it's insane. Developed by researchers at the University of Wyoming in the early 2000s, the spider goat is a genetically modified organism that combines the DNA of a common goat with that of a spider. What happens then when the goat eggs a single cell is that the spider silk gene becomes part of one of the chromosomes. The goal of this ambitious project is to produce a unique protein found in spider silk, which is highly valued for its strength, flexibility, and potential applications in various industries. By inserting the spider's silk-producing gene into the goat's DNA, scientists have created a hybrid animal capable of producing milk that contains the valuable silk protein. The milk can then be harvested, and the protein extracted to create a strong, lightweight material with a wide range of uses, from medical sutures to bulletproof vests. While the spider goat represents a significant scientific achievement, its creation raises a host of ethical concerns. The manipulation of animal genetics to create hybrid organisms challenges our understanding of the natural world and blurs the line between species. Furthermore, the long-term consequences of such genetic alterations on the health and well-being of the spider goat and potential impacts on the environment remain largely unknown. The spider goat serves as a powerful reminder of the astonishing and sometimes horrifying capabilities of modern genetic engineering. This unusual creature forces us to confront the ethical limits of our scientific endeavors and the responsibility we hold in shaping the future of our planet's biodiversity. Number 5. The Belgian Blue Cow The Belgian Blue Cow is a remarkable and somewhat disconcerting example of selective breeding in the livestock industry. Originating in Belgium, this impressive cattle breed is known for its distinctively muscular appearance, a result of a natural genetic mutation called double muscling. When you say double muscle, yeah. do you mean it has two of every muscle? No. 
No, no, no. Because no. it looks like it does Absolutely. in all It has it? exactly the same type uh, of muscle than any other breed, except that in terms of quantity, each of these muscles is by far more developed. This mutation causes the breed to have an increased number of muscle fibers, leading to an exceptionally lean and high-quality meat sought after by consumers and producers alike. While the Belgian blue cow's physical characteristics are undoubtedly striking, the process of breeding these animals to accentuate their muscle mass raises ethical concerns. The extreme muscularity of these cows can lead to various health issues and complications during their lives. The large muscle mass can create difficulties for the animals, such as impaired mobility, joint problems, and increased susceptibility to injury. One of the most significant concerns with breeding Belgian blue cows is the complications that can arise during the calving process. Due to their large size and muscle mass, these cows often require cesarean sections for successful births, posing risks to both the mother and the calf. I don't think it's twins. Shouldn't be. Yeah, I couldn't feel two in there, but we'll see. He'll pull in on me, I think, so. This reliance on surgical intervention raises questions about the morality of breeding animals that require human intervention for reproduction and survival. The Belgian blue cow serves as a vivid example of how humanity's pursuit of specific traits in livestock can result in the creation of animals that may suffer as a consequence of our selective breeding practices. The impressive and unsettling appearance of these muscular cows challenges us to consider the ethical implications of our actions and the responsibility we have in determining the fate of the animals we breed. The Belgian blue cow is both a marvel of genetics and a sobering reminder of the potentially horrifying outcomes when we push the boundaries of nature in our quest for economic gain and efficiency. Number 6. The Enviro Pig I'm here in Canada for a date with a pig. No ordinary pig, mind you. It's called the Enviro Pig. The Enviro Pig is a provocative and unsettling example of genetic engineering in the realm of animal breeding. Developed by researchers at the University of Guelph in Canada in the late 1990s, the Enviro Pig is a genetically modified pig designed to produce less phosphorus in its manure. The primary goal of this project was to address the environmental concerns associated with large-scale pig farming as the excessive phosphorus in pig manure can contribute to water pollution and algal blooms. To create the EnviroPig, scientists inserted a gene from the E. coli bacterium and a mouse gene into the pig's DNA, allowing the pig to produce a specific enzyme that breaks down phosphorus in its feed more efficiently. As a result, the EnviroPig produces up to 75% less phosphorus in its manure compared to conventional pigs, potentially reducing the environmental impact of pig farming. Despite the potential environmental benefits, the EnviroPig has sparked significant ethical concerns regarding the manipulation of animal genetics for the sake of industrial efficiency. Critics argue that the creation of genetically modified animals like the EnviroPig may lead to unforeseen ecological consequences if these animals were to escape into the wild and interbreed with wild populations. Additionally, the long-term effects of genetic modifications on the health and well-being of the EnviroPig are not yet fully understood. The EnviroPig serves as a thought-provoking example of how genetic engineering can create controversial solutions to pressing environmental issues. The ethical implications of modifying animals to suit our needs and the potential consequences of these actions remain significant concerns. The EnviroPig is a striking reminder of the power humans have to shape the natural world and the potential horrors that may arise from our efforts to manipulate nature. Number 7. The Sudden Death Mosquito Even the million deaths a year caused by malaria greatly understate its impact. The Sudden Death Mosquito is a chilling and controversial example of genetic engineering in the realm of pest control. Developed by scientists at the British biotechnology company Oxitec, the Sudden Death Mosquito is a genetically modified Aedes aegypti mosquito designed to combat the spread of mosquito-borne diseases such as dengue, zika, and yellow fever. By inserting a self-limiting gene into the mosquito's DNA, scientists have created a mosquito strain that produces offspring unable to survive to adulthood. This male mosquito really has one job, and that's to go and find invasive female mosquitoes, mate with them, and pass on to them two genes. 
When male sudden-death mosquitoes are released into the wild and mate with wild females, the majority of their offspring die before they can reproduce, leading to a reduction in the overall mosquito population. While the sudden-death mosquito has shown promise in reducing the number of disease-carrying mosquitoes in certain areas, the use of genetically modified organisms for pest control raises serious ethical and ecological concerns. Critics argue that the release of genetically modified mosquitoes into the environment may lead to unforeseen consequences for ecosystems, as the long-term effects of reducing mosquito populations on food chains and biodiversity are not yet fully understood. Additionally, there is a risk that the genetic modification could spread to non-target species through interbreeding, potentially causing disruptions in the balance of nature. The sudden-death mosquito serves as a stark example of humanity's capacity to manipulate the natural world in an effort to solve pressing problems. But the potential horrors that may arise from such interventions cannot be ignored. The ethical dilemmas and ecological concerns associated with the sudden-death mosquito highlight the importance of carefully considering the consequences of our actions when altering the genetic makeup of living organisms. As we continue to harness the power of genetic engineering, we must weigh the benefits against the potential risks and unintended consequences that may come with manipulating the natural world. Number 8. The Cabbage Head Jellyfish Is a cabbage head jellyfish? The cabbage head jellyfish, also known as the Dry Monoma dalmatinum, is an unsettling and mysterious creature that exemplifies the potential consequences of human intervention in marine ecosystems. While not explicitly bred or genetically modified by humans, the cabbage head jellyfish has become a symbol of how our actions can indirectly impact the natural world, leading to the proliferation of previously rare and alarming species. Uh, some people call it the cabbage head jellyfish. Uh, this thing is, is pretty interesting. Deep waters of the Mediterranean Sea and the Eastern Atlantic Ocean, the cabbage head jellyfish is a massive, gelatinous creature characterized by its unique cabbage-like appearance. With a bell that can reach up to three feet in diameter and tentacles that extend over 20 feet, this unusual jellyfish is a sight to behold. In recent years, the cabbage head jellyfish has experienced a surge in population, with sightings becoming increasingly common in coastal areas across the Mediterranean. While the exact reasons for this population boom are not fully understood, it is believed to be a result of various human-driven factors, such as overfishing, climate change, and pollution. The decline of sea turtle populations, which are natural predators of jellyfish, along with the alteration of oceanic conditions, has created an environment in which the cabbage head jellyfish can thrive. I've never seen anything like this before. Of course, I've seen jellyfish, but not at this size. These are little guys, and certainly not in these numbers. The rise of the cabbage head jellyfish serves as a horrifying reminder of how human actions can have unintended consequences on the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. As this once rare species becomes more prevalent, it poses a threat to local fisheries and other marine life, competing for resources and potentially disrupting the food chain. Moreover, the cabbage head jellyfish's appearance and proliferation bring attention to the ethical and ecological responsibilities we hold as humans when interacting with the natural world. The unexpected emergence of this unusual and somewhat disconcerting creature forces us to confront the far-reaching effects of our actions on the planet's biodiversity and challenges us to evaluate the sustainability of our relationship with the environment. As the cabbage head jellyfish continues to gain prominence in the Mediterranean, it serves as a cautionary tale of the potential horrors that can arise from our interference with the natural world. Our responsibility to preserve and protect marine ecosystems has never been more crucial as we strive to maintain the delicate balance of life on Earth. Number 9. The Glass Frog The glass frog is a fascinating and slightly eerie creature that inhabits the rainforests of Central and South America. Although not directly bred or genetically modified by humans, the glass frog's unique characteristics and unusual appearance offer a captivating glimpse into the wonders of nature and the incredible diversity of life on Earth. Belonging to the family Centralenidae, glass frogs are small, nocturnal amphibians with a distinctive feature, their transparent, translucent skin. So tiny too, look, I will put my thumb right up next to the glass 
That frog is no bigger than the tip of my thumb. This extraordinary adaptation allows them to blend seamlessly with their surroundings, providing effective camouflage against potential predators. The most striking aspect of their transparency is the ability to see their internal organs, including the heart, liver, and digestive system, through the skin on their underbellies. The glass frog serves as a symbol of the incredible adaptations that can be found in the natural world, as well as a reminder of the vulnerability and fragility of ecosystems. As rainforests continue to face threats from deforestation, climate change, and habitat loss, the glass frog's survival is increasingly at risk. The conservation of these delicate creatures and their habitats is crucial to preserving the rich biodiversity of our planet. Although the glass frog may not be a direct result of human intervention, its existence highlights the wonders of nature and the potential horrors that could arise if we fail to protect and conserve our planet's ecosystems. The glass frog's captivating appearance and remarkable adaptation serve as a reminder of the incredible beauty and complexity of the natural world and the responsibility we bear in safeguarding its future. Number 10. The Two-Headed Snake the two-headed snake is a rare and disconcerting phenomenon that occurs in the world of reptiles. While not explicitly bred or genetically engineered by humans, these unusual creatures have captured our attention and fascination, offering a glimpse into the strange world of genetic anomalies and the potential consequences of tampering with nature. That's a really cool thing to see in person. I've never seen a two-headed snake. It's rare, but it does happen, but I've never known it to happen in this species before. This is really neat. Two-headed snakes are the result of a genetic mutation known as polycephaly, which occurs when an embryo fails to split completely during the early stages of development. The resulting animal has two distinct heads, each with its own brain, but shares a single body. This rare condition can occur in various species of snakes. And although these animals are typically born in the wild, they are often collected and displayed in captivity due to their extraordinary appearance. I've been keeping snakes since I was six, so about 34 years, and uh, never quite seen one like her before. We love her. She's really special to us. The existence of two-headed snakes highlights the unpredictable and sometimes horrifying outcomes that can arise from genetic mutations and abnormalities. These creatures often face numerous challenges and health issues throughout their lives, as their shared body can cause complications with feeding, movement, and coordination. Additionally, the two heads may exhibit conflicting behaviors and instincts, further complicating their ability to navigate the world. The two-headed snake serves as a powerful reminder of the incredible diversity and unpredictability of the natural world as well as the potential dangers and ethical concerns associated with manipulating genetics. These rare and unnerving creatures challenge our understanding of life and the limits of biology, urging us to consider the consequences of our actions and the responsibility we hold in shaping the planet's biodiversity. Number 11. The Africanized Honeybee the Africanized honeybee, also known as the killer bee, is a chilling example of how human intervention in nature can lead to the emergence of aggressive and potentially dangerous creatures. Originating from a hybridization experiment gone awry, the Africanized honeybee has become an invasive species and a threat to native bee populations, raising concerns about the consequences of our actions on the delicate balance of ecosystems. In the 1950s, Brazilian scientists imported African honeybees to interbreed with the local European honeybees, aiming to create a more productive and better adapted hybrid bee for the South American climate. However, some of the African bees escaped from the research facility, and their descendants began to breed with native bee populations. The result was the Africanized honeybee, a highly aggressive and resilient hybrid bee that quickly spread throughout the Americas. Tens of thousands of Africanized bees causing a major concern with homeowners in a River Oaks neighborhood. Characterized by their aggressive behavior and tendency to attack in large numbers, Africanized honeybees pose a significant risk to humans and animals that unwittingly disturb their hives. It's like a scene from a horror movie. The bees don't stop. As the man struggles to regain his footing, down he goes again. The bees attacked me in my face. They, they were going from my mouth, my eyes, my ears. I mean, all over, really. While their venom is not more potent than that of a typical honeybee, their propensity to swarm and deliver multiple stings can lead to severe reactions and even fatalities in some cases. 
Moreover, the rapid spread of Africanized honeybees has raised concerns about the impact on native bee populations as they outcompete and displace other bees in their search for food and resources. The decline of native bee populations can have far-reaching consequences for ecosystems, as bees play a crucial role in pollination and the maintenance of biodiversity. The Africanized honeybee serves as a harrowing reminder of the potential dangers and unintended consequences that can arise from human intervention in nature. African bees, more dangerous than honeybees, and gives them the reputation of killer bees. This alarming hybrid bee highlights the importance of carefully considering the ecological and ethical implications of our actions, as well as our responsibility to safeguard the delicate balance of ecosystems that support life on Earth. As we continue to grapple with the challenges posed by invasive species like the Africanized honeybee, it is crucial that we learn from our past mistakes and strive to protect the planet's biodiversity for future generations. Number 12. The Zorse It's got the head of a zebra and some zebra-like stripes. It's a Zorse. The Zorse, a striking and unusual hybrid creature, is a testament to the power of selective breeding and the fascinating outcomes that can result from combining different species. As a cross between a zebra and a horse, the Zorse serves as a reminder of the ethical and ecological implications that can arise from the manipulation of animal genetics and the creation of unique and sometimes controversial creatures. Born from the mating of a male zebra and a female horse, the Zorse is an intriguing combination of its parents' characteristics. This is Zoe the Zorse. She is part horse and part zebra, not a very common sight. It typically inherits the solid body and build of a horse, while also displaying the unmistakable striping pattern of a zebra. Due to the genetic differences between the two species, Zorses are almost always infertile, making them unable to produce offspring. While Zorses can be bred for various purposes, including riding and working animals, their creation raises important ethical questions about the motivations and consequences of selectively breeding animals for human purposes. Some critics argue that breeding hybrids like the Zorse may lead to unforeseen health issues or behavioral problems, as well as potential negative impacts on the well-being of the animals involved. The Zorse provides a fascinating insight into the world of hybrid animals and the potential outcomes of human intervention in the natural world. As we continue to explore the possibilities of selective breeding and the creation of new species, it is vital that we consider the ethical and ecological consequences of our actions and strive to protect the planet's biodiversity. Number 13. The Savanna Cat This is the Savanna, the largest domestic cat. The Savannah cat is a captivating hybrid animal resulting from the mating of a domestic cat and a serval, a wild African cat. Known for their striking appearance and exceptional intelligence, Savannah cats are a popular exotic pet among enthusiasts who appreciate their unique combination of wild and domestic characteristics. Typically larger than the average domestic cat, Savannah cats inherit the long legs and graceful slender body of the serval as well as its distinctive coat pattern. Their behavior can be a mix of the wild instincts of their serval ancestry and the more familiar domestic traits of a house cat. While savanna cats are admired for their beauty and exotic allure, their existence raises important ethical questions about the motivations and potential consequences of breeding wild and domestic animals. Critics argue that hybrid animals like the savanna cat may face unforeseen health issues or struggle with conflicting instincts which could affect their well-being. Additionally, the demand for exotic pets can inadvertently support the illegal wildlife trade. A lot of states actually don't recognize them as a domestic breed and they've made them illegal in several states. Which poses a threat to the conservation of wild species. The savanna cat serves as a reminder of the complex ethical and ecological implications of breeding hybrid animals and the need for responsible pet ownership. Number 14. The Growler Bear The Growler Bear, a rare hybrid offspring of a polar bear and a grizzly bear, serves as a potent reminder of the consequences of climate change and habitat loss on the world's wildlife. Though not directly bred by humans, the increasing frequency of growler bear sightings is believed to be a result of changing environmental conditions that force the two species into closer contact. 
As climate change causes Arctic sea ice to retreat, polar bears are spending more time on land in search of food, bringing them into closer proximity to grizzly bears that inhabit the same regions. This overlap in habitats increases the likelihood of the two species encountering each other and producing hybrid offspring. Growler bears display a unique combination of physical and behavioral traits from both parent species, with a size and coat color that falls between those of polar bears and grizzlies. While these hybrids may be better adapted to a changing environment, their emergence raises concerns about the long-term survival of both parent species, as hybridization could lead to a loss of genetic distinctiveness. The existence of Grolar bears highlights the urgent need for action to mitigate the impacts of climate change and habitat loss on the planet's wildlife. As polar bears and other vulnerable species face increasing pressure from environmental changes, it is crucial that we address these challenges and work to protect the world's diverse ecosystems for future generations. Number 15. The Pisley Bear Pisley bear arose when polar bears migrated south due to shrinking Arctic ice, and that is where they met up with grizzlies and mated. The Pisley bear, also known as the Grolar bear, is a rare and intriguing hybrid animal born from the mating of a polar bear and a grizzly bear. Although not a product of human intervention, the increasing number of Pisley bear sightings in the wild highlights the far-reaching effects of climate change on wildlife populations and the resulting consequences for the planet's ecosystems. As the Arctic warms due to climate change, polar bears are facing a decline in their sea ice habitat, forcing them to venture further inland in search of food. This shift in their behavior brings them into contact with grizzly bears, which inhabit overlapping territories. The increased interaction between these two species has resulted in the occasional production of hybrid offspring, known as pisley or growler bears. Pisley bears exhibit a unique combination of physical traits and behaviors inherited from both parent species. Their size and coat color tend to be intermediate between those of polar bears and grizzlies, and they may demonstrate behavioral adaptations that reflect their mixed ancestry. While the ability to adapt is crucial for survival in a rapidly changing environment, the emergence of pisley bears raises concerns about the long-term prospects for their parent species. The increasing prevalence of pisley bears serves as a warning of the potential consequences of unchecked climate change and habitat loss. As the hybridization between polar bears and grizzly bears becomes more common, it could contribute to the erosion of each species' genetic distinctiveness, threatening their long-term survival. Moreover, the presence of these hybrid bears in the wild underscores the need for effective conservation measures to protect the diverse and fragile ecosystems of the Arctic.